Hey again guys and welcome back. Uh, do you ever order bulk wire from AliExpress or eBay or even uh, bulk heat shrink? I do and at the moment I just have been leaving them bunched up like that and throw them into a giant tub. Uh, but user Cabot Castle on Thingiverse has the solution. He made cable spools like cable bobbins. Um, with a, a standardized center portion, which prints standing up like that, with threads on the top. Um, the standardization is on the threads and on the diameter, but you can print these up to, um, I think it was uh, 10 centimeters, 100 mil uh, length. And also these side pieces, also threaded, and these things just go right together. And I don't know if you can see how uh, chowdered the uh, threads are on this because the print head was moving kind of between these two and sort of left them all chowdered. But I've, I've sanded these smooth. These, I haven't bothered. They go in no problem. And they have these little uh, bumps right there on the side pieces that you can sand to make this fit kind of ideally the way you want it. But... I don't even need it. These, these things fit so well together. So you just screw them together and there you go. You've got a cable spool and you can run the end of the cable and have the little little piece here stick out like that so that the cable sits flush. This is neat. So yeah, I just thought I would uh, put one together for you on camera here. Link in the description as always. Um, I've also been using uh, through the middle here, there's a hole. You see that that hole right there? Uh, that hole you can use to run, like what I've been doing is I've been pinching, you see there, little piece of cable? I've been just pinching the cable and twisting it so it hold together. Um, but I think that it's a little bit small for heat shrink. This is fairly big heat shrink tubing, but I, I don't really care. Uh, I've got some tape ready. Just a little bit of Kapton tape tape it on like that and then I can spool this up however I want and so this will stay way more tidy especially as soon as I can figure out a um, nice rod mounting system which might be another uh, 3d print so yeah just gonna spool this up and when I get to the end of this I'm gonna tape this uh, and the end of this one on and continue the spool so yeah you get all sorts of shapes and sizes for whatever you need. So I've done my 22, 22 and 18 gauge wires so far, but I'm going to be printing more over the upcoming weeks. Uh, and I'll be pretty much storing everything on this and then making some sort of racking system for all of it. I'm pretty excited. And there we go got everything on so this is both those lengths but as you can see this is a lot more compact and I plan on putting this up on the wall somewhere or on the pegboard here because a lot of these tools are going to be moving to my new bench at some point so I'll probably fill up the pegboard you know this way with a whole bunch of these things and they won't be in the way uh, I've got this is the the uh, two to one uh, heat shrink the three to one stuff is way chunkier and stiffer you see see how rigid that is so I've been actually using these uh, 3d printing spools uh, I just zip tied the end you can actually see it down there or maybe you can't because of the light but I zip tied the end right there into the little hole where they they shove the start of the filament and yeah that's rolled around there uh, I could probably force it onto a spool like this and maybe I will but for the moment it's on my used uh, 3d printing spools so yeah, go down in the description, try it yourself. I think it's going to be a good addition to my shop. Could be a good one to yours too. Thanks for watching.